guys this demo is for uh, understanding how we can create a property uh, in the install of installer how we can uh, add any string value uh, which will be used as a label anywhere in the install seed installer and also uh, the path variable node so ultimately saying uh, I'm just describing the differences uh, among property manager uh, property manager node which is available here the difference uh, also uh, among, among the difference among the string editor and the path variable so I'm just covering this property manager string editor and path variable node so let's come to this uh, property manager node first so you can navigate to the installation designer and under this behavior logics behavior logic and for then property manager right so here you can edit add or edit property so let's say this is a property and uh, you can edit this property via uh, option available here let me choose there is a, so simply you can just edit the value for this property or you can just change the name of this property as well and uh, let's say you need to create a new property so for that cause uh, you can just create a property and uh, this will be your test property and uh, you can give any value to it let's say abc whatever we so ultimately say uh, the properties are like variables in a programming language uh, or programming context if you need to use any property in more than one places anywhere within the same installer then uh, keep every letter of property name in uppercase format let's say i need to use this uh, property in my dialog uh, to take input from the user and later on to use that uh, input somewhere else in our logic so i can just uh, create a variable which will be a property here in the installation installer with a naming convention like test prop so every letter of this name is in uppercase right so upper so this uh, property is kind of a global variable within the install sheet installer so this is the recommendation to use the naming convention for the global property now we come to this uh, now let me show you how i am using the property so uh, this is an example like this is the configuration text which is a property and i have already created a dialog dialog is like application context and if i just show you the uh, interface for this dialog then uh, there i have placed uh, one text box and uh, i have binded this to this my configuration property so whenever the user clicks on this value whenever the user uh, comes to this dialog he enters the value that value is being stored in the, inside this property which is kind of variable and next time I, what i am doing i am just uh, using text replace where I am uh, updating my edit config file and I am just replacing the test value which is available in my config file via the value which has been stored in this property so this is how my uh, configuration text property is being uh, set it and in used so this is the way to use the properties now come to this string editor so here all the values which so you can navigate to the installation designer and uh, then use come to the inter, user interface and then string editor here you can edit or add any string so for added addition you can just uh, change the value or change the name of this string also you can edit new uh, string so let's say new string is this you can change the name and the value whatever we right so you can add uh, this uh, string as well right so it's been added now strings are like constants in programming context you can not change their value at runtime but these can be used so most of the time strings are used only as a label of any control or message to say so let's say uh, I have uh, I have a general information here general information you have seen that the country let me come there please first so you have seen that country name uh, so Ula Grand which is coming from this uh, string value right which I have shown you earlier at the top so coming from this let's say I change the value here 
Ola Grand top here. So the value will be re reflected here, right? And uh, this is basically used to uh, set the publisher on the control panel. I show you how it is being used. So the publisher has been displayed here, or this one as well. So let's say if I just uh, try to install this app, application then I will be seeing the impact of this so ultimately saying strings are uh, used as a label uh, or just a constant string to be used anywhere so this is the use of this stringing editor here you go your control panel here is there now your application has been installed Ola Grand Top and here also the Ola Grand Top, right? So this is coming from that string. I'm just installing it as of now. Right. So uh, this was the use of a string editor. Uh, I missed one thing in property manager, the type of any property which has been added here is a string. You know that uh, in programming languages we have lots of variables and their types associated with them. So we can create variable for integer, variable for a decimal, variable for long, uh, variable for even a string or whatever we have custom types, right? So but here the type of every property is a string by default. So we need to use some kind of functions available in the install scene installer or in some other languages which is scripting. Uh, to convert the values from a string to other uh, numerical values so that's uh, the way it works and now come to this uh, path variable so unfortunately there is no any new very path variable being added so all the variables which are being listed here are predefined so for this uh, you can navigate to this install solution designer now media and then path variable here you can add it or add a path to various files being used in the installer. There are four types of path. First is uh, predefined, always available to be used. So the list of the path variables which you can see now uh, is all, are, are all of the uh, predefined one. Now let's say if I try to add new one, then I have a standard uh, type of variable. Second is environment type of variable and third is registry type of variable. So I can add those things manually here and uh, define the relative path via using these already existing variables. So it's project folder. Right. So this is the way. Okay. Now we can also add uh, the registry variable. Here we can define the registry path, whatever we. And uh, here also environment variable. So for the standard one, you can define folder path for the environment variable. This will be the path to your environment variable and for the registry path to your registry key. So for a standard type path variable, please use combination of predefined path to make default value column as a relative path so that installer can find files on any system folder structure if relative folder structure is maintained. So this is the recommendation to use the uh, standard path variable. I'm just creating these things. So this is the way to delete them. Starting this as well. Now, as I already said, that uh, there are a few recommendations like uh, we should be keeping uh, path variables relative not absolute here in path variable tab. And uh, now, key property name. So, in the property manager, we should be keeping uh, property name in uppercase letter if you have to use it anywhere within the same installer. So marking is a global variable. Now various way to create a string. So let's say uh, I have to change the value of that particular string which is Ola Grand Talk from here. So I either can change the value from here 
let me try to change here as well so and save and come to this string editor then you can see that it has been updated now again let's say uh, i can also do one more thing like clicking on this this one and i can select any other uh, folder so let's say i am selecting this typical description this will be displayed here so these are the ways to use these things i'm just reverting back to this one right so thanks for watching my video